having anyways. Okay, members of the board, thank you for cutting my speech earlier. My Nearpod speech, the part of my speech, it was in there, but I wasn't allowed to get there. Oops, what about that? So I'll just move on my merry way since it got voted on. Clearly, we're not listening to community members. You know, if you think for one second that we, the people over here in this community and the parents of this, the children in these schools cannot see that we have three Democrats on the board and two conservative ladies, I think, what? We are deaf, we're dumb, we're blind. I, I'm, I don't appreciate being treated like I am retarded because I'm not, and neither is any Anybody else in this uh, district or the parents here we see it we know who the Democrats are in this room on that side and we know who the conservatives are it's pretty clear uh, just look at the people who take pride in their appearance and you'll see who a conservative is anyways 48% uh, of our children are proficient in math at the high school 48% are you kidding me? And no wonder poor Gil over here has a hard time finding people to replace the retirees because we got a bunch of morons leaving the high school who can't even do any math. So that's probably why, Gil. Um, Nearpod, yeah, let's get back to that. Nearpod is all leftist. You know it. We've brought it up to you, uh, and we don't trust you that you will not uh, keep that leftist ideology. That's why I took my son out of your schools, and I'm glad that I did. Uh, anyways, your contract, uh, Heath, um, we'll get to that in a second. You guys do know that you need four votes up here to get a levy, right, for us to, you know, and yes, it's not a threat, it's a promise. We are not going to pass your levies. We're not trying to control you. No, we're not gonna support a district that supports pornography in the hands of our children. You, oh, what was it, your, your teachers? Oh, our first job is to love the students and then teach the students. What about, uh, what, Tim Tatko, did he love the students a little bit too much? What about that lady at Shore who was having a sexual relationship with the boy in the, in the classroom? Did she love the students first? What about Barry Valentine, who had an inappropriate sexual relationship with the students? Maybe, just maybe, love should be left up to the parents so that their kids don't get molested, I'm just saying. Um, Annie and Rose, thank you so much for standing up for our children. We appreciate you. You're not bigots. I didn't see Ginny stick up for you guys and give a disclaimer and shame on the radicals out here who absolutely destroy you and call you bigots and Nazis and all kinds of stuff. They don't get no disclaimer from that, but oh boy, the, the conservatives have hurt for words. Uh, as far as your judgment, I think it is absolutely screwed up for you to 100% support a failed school board member and give her the all go and the endorsement and she couldn't even make it in Ridge where you put her with elementary students for not one month. She couldn't even show up on day two. Thank Craig you. Heath, I want to know what that item of concern is, is that over. was missing from your I'm evaluation. I'm you. sure we're going to find out because what's done in the dark shall always come to light. Amen. Thank you.